Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a massive clean with me and I'm going to take this bedroom from this to this. The kids will be out of the house for a few more hours so I'm going to do as much cleaning as I can. I'm going to tackle the kids bedrooms, the bathrooms. I'm going to give you as much motivation and cleaning inspiration as I can today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Brittany and I'm a mama of four. My oldest is six, my youngest is two. And I think the more kids you have, the mess just grows exponentially. So it's really messy. We're keeping it real. I'm going to get it done. Let's get started. In the stillness somewhere above the city lights, you're falling in love Still aware, you know it is true That you are lost and this is a clue Love is forever, love is forever To believe you gotta let go Light as a feather, light as a feather So I chose to start out today in my boy's bedroom. It was so messy, just so many little paper things on the floor and I knew I wanted to clean their sheets since it was laundry day. So I went ahead and just stripped the bedded sheets and covered everything back up with the comforters. Figured I could put those back on later but I really wanted to get just the mess cleaned up. And you know, art projects, they, they kind of explode there. Next up on my list was the younger kids room. This one was easier to clean up just because, I don't know, bigger toys and blankets and stuff, but still they kind of destroy it. So I wanted to make sure I had everything picked up. I just hate when you tuck your kids in at the end of the night and then you end up stepping on like a Lego or just something so tiny and so pokey. I don't even know why we do that to ourselves. We just, I don't know, we get the tiniest little toys for kids and oh, you know how, how it is. Anyways. So I wanted to make sure I had everything put back together. Landon really appreciates having his room clean. Uh, he's just like my little old man. He gets up early, he likes to have his things together and organized. So I always feel good about cleaning their room. And when you wake up, you know what you need to do. Just close your eyes. Someone's been waiting for you. Just close. Another area that I knew I needed to tackle today was this little hallway here in between the bedrooms. This had so many little stains just between, I don't even know, I think it was like toothpaste because it's right by the bathroom and my kids are always like running out of the bathroom <laughs> with their toothbrushes for some reason. Anyway, so I really wanted to tackle that. Between that and like random markers, I don't even know how they just got in the hallway, but I wanted to get all of those little spots cleaned up. It wasn't enough to like do a full rug clean, but just spot treating it. And um, right here, I'm just using my BioClean, it's like a stain remover, and one of my little microfiber um, cloths. And then I have this little flat um, plastic scraper. I'll see if I can find that scraper on Amazon. They probably have one similar. I use that combination for any kind of carpet stains or like under the high chair, anywhere you've got carpet, anything hard to get out, like food or whatever, that little scraper works really well with that stain remover. To clean the toilets here, I'm using a Method Toilet Bowl Cleaner, giving that a good swish. 
I deep clean our toilets at least once a week. I like to make sure that there's no weird, I don't know, with three boys, I don't want any weird smells and stuff around the toilet. So I make sure that those are getting cleaned at least once a week. Also, probably about once a month, I spray down around the base of the toilet with a bleach spray. Just make sure that's getting really cleaned. Also, I use this BioClean Drain Care. It's got an enzyme in it and it really helps to keep away any kind of clogs or anything like that. Make sure your drains are running good. And then I just spray everything down with an all-purpose cleaner. You guys have seen me use this. Um, just my homemade all-purpose spray with vinegar, lemon essential oil. And I pretty much use a microfiber towel for most everything in the bathroom except for like the toilets because that I use just a washcloth and I'm only going to use it once and then wash it. Also for the floors, I'm just using that all-purpose cleaner. That's typically what I use to clean around the toilets. Um, I do those every week when I deep clean, but I bleach only about once a month. I, don't, I hope that wasn't confusing. I clean around the base of the toilets every single week. Um, and then to clean the mirrors, I'm using the Honest Company glass cleaner. I think it's called glass and window cleaner, and I use a squeegee. The squeegee is what makes all the difference. It really, really helps. And then here we go. Got to get that toothpaste off of the door. They get it everywhere. Who else's kids do that? Is it just my kids? I don't know. And then to finish off with the toilet, I usually like to pour a little bit of baking soda in there. A little bit of baking soda and some lemon essential oil. And then I'll kind of just use the um, last of that white towel that I was using, like a clean one that I use for the floors. I'll use that just to kind of wipe around the toilet bowl and make sure that's all cleaned and everything. But there's something about the baking soda with lemon essential oil. I like to have that. It's like the last thing I do with the toilet after it's flushed from all the cleaner. I just like to leave the baking soda and lemon in there. I feel like it just helps keep it fresh and like absorb anything that would be left in the bowl. The last room that I'm tackling is the master bedroom, getting my bed all made. Um, by the way, who noticed that the footage does not show me washing my hands in between the bathroom to the bedroom? <laughs> it's so gross, but I did wash my hands. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my cleaning video today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you found it inspiring or motivating to get up and clean along with me. Also, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every single Monday and Friday, and it's going to be anything from a mommy routine video to tips. Also, if you want to keep up to date with us on a daily basis, I'll leave my Instagram down below. And lastly, if you are still cleaning and you want some more motivation, then I will put a video over here and you can keep on going, keep the motivation going. I have a playlist as well, and I'll link that up in the card if you want to just keep cleaning literally clean your whole house leave me a comment down below I love chatting with you guys especially when these videos first go up I love hearing what you think about them and if you want to see more so leave a comment and I will see you guys soon bye guys